All right, so I hope you just looked through that book, The Flashlight. Um, you probably noticed how cool the art is. And one thing I get from the book is a crazy amount of texture. So I see a lot of texture in all of those photos that really stands out to me. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what texture is and how we can draw it. Okay, so texture is how something feels. And we are going to draw it with lines. So I'm going to draw a couple different examples of different tree textures that I saw throughout the book, um, as well as different textures I saw in the leaves and grass and branches. So the first texture I noticed a lot in different trees is a curved line. So this curved line looks kind of like a U. And if you want to include these little curved lines on your trees, that would be a great idea. The other kind of lines I saw um, were curved lines that kind of went into a circle instead of a U shape. So this is also curved. Um, but when I saw these kind of trees with the curved lines, I also saw straight lines. So pay attention to all the different kind of lines that you notice in the book. And this is going to be really good for us doing our scratch art because scratch art is going to be easiest when we are working with lines. And that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so you can do a trees that have both curved and straight lines. Okay, and then I also noticed some, um, well these are vertical, let's write that, vertical straight lines. And then I also saw trees that have these curved lines, but then they also have horizontal little lines. So there's so many different ways that you can add texture to the trees that you are going to draw. And then I noticed on branches, um, there were different tiny little vertical lines or horizontal lines, sometimes even a little bit diagonal, um, and they were very, very tiny. And then on other branches, I noticed more curved lines. So you guys can have so much fun with choosing your textures for your trees and branches. That's going to probably be the easiest part. Um, the harder part for this project will be drawing our one animal and our one person. That's going to be the more challenging part, but we're going to start with what is easy. Um, the other thing we need to practice drawing is lines for our grass. In the book, sometimes the grass looked like this. It was two lines put together that come to a point, or it was just straight lines. So you can do both. You can do one or the other. You can choose what you want to do for your grass. Um, and then if you wanted to add little flowers, you could do that as well. So sometimes they just had little dots as flowers, which looks really cool. And then sometimes they had branches that came off the little grass, and then more dots off of that. Okay, so those are different textures that we are going to include in our scratch art project.